right, fight fans, here we go. Archangel Worldwide MMA in association with Rent a Wheel is proud to present three rounds of mixed martial arts in the welterweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Down to Scrap Clothing. Make sure you visit the Down to Scrap booth and pick up your apparel this evening. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Larry Landless. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks. He is training out of Team Chile in Los Angeles by way of Lancaster, California. He weighed in 171.2 pounds. His record, no wins, with one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Thomas Demolition Miranda. His opponent across the iron ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks, trimmed in red. He is training out of Millennia MMA and Rancho by way of San Bernardino, California. He weighed in 171.8 pounds. His record, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lafonte Terubo Smith! Once again, fans, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the welterweight division. Zero losses, and Thomas has uh, zero wins, one loss. Both of these guys look in incredible shape. You getting ready to start? Larry's bringing them together. I'm excited. Okay, they're in the center of the ring, throwing some punches at each other, just kind of testing each other, trying to get some distance. Little tentative, nice inside leg kick. Okay. But Lafond no, really. is definitely sending him out. He's testing him out, inside leg kick. They're, they're uh, inside leg kick again. It's kind of reaching for it. You got to get, you got a little bit too much distance. They got to judge their distance a little bit better and get in there and start swinging. It's easy for me to say I'm sitting out here watching, but. Uh, Got the centering, he threw an overhand right. Strong overhand right, okay. taking him to the ground. There it is, oh yeah, he's taking him to the, he's got him in a guillotine. It looks like, who's got him in a guillotine? It looks like uh, Thomas has got uh, Levant in a guillotine and he's holding him tight. Uh, Levant is on top and he's uh, outside the guard. He's mounted him. And they're holding him, just control him on the bottom. No, no real damage going on right now. Trying to posture up, he's, he's held, holding him tight. A couple hammer fists to the side of the head by Lafont. He's mounted and he's teeing off. It's gonna get stopped. This guy is teeing off. He's not defending himself. And he's, yeah, it's done, it's done. Lafont took this, this fight with overhand, uh, with a mount. Pound the ground. Whoa, that was really interesting. So this is LaFont's second win in a row from Millennia MMA out of San Bernardino. Larry stopped the fight due to strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 39 seconds of round number one, referee in charge, Larry Landless stops the contest due to strikes, our winner. By TKO, he is still undefeated. The blue corner, Lafonte Terubois Smith. Archangel Worldwide MMA in association with Rent a Wheel is proud to present three rounds of mixed martial arts in the light heavyweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by EO Tan. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout from East LA, Larry Landless. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing green trunks trimmed in yellow. He is training out of Gracie Jiu Jitsu in Hemet by way of Riverside, California. He weighed in 247.2 pounds. His record, one win with two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dusty Bam Bam Montoy. 
Ya! His opponent across the iron ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing white trunks to rimmed in red. He is training out of powerhouse boxing in Burbank by way of North Hollywood, California. He weighed in 259.8 pounds. He brings to the iron ring an undefeated record. Four wins, no losses, one no contest, with all four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is representing Fight Religion, Sergio Sosa! All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the light heavyweight division. Definitely uh, try to test uh, Dusty. Okay, they read the ring, they test. Okay, he didn't give him any time at all. No. He starts throwing bombs. He's throwing bombs right now. There yep. is no oh. joke. He's he is handling. Him. This guy's got some good boxing go skills. Good knee to the body by uh, Dusty. But Dusty is definitely taking the worst of the thing. He is yes. firing back with good right hands on. But Sergio, Sergio has a just, good yeah. skill set. He's connecting. He's doing he's connecting. Sergio has been has definitely fought before and he definitely knows how to throw punches. There was no wasted movement in those punches. They were solid strike. Looks like Dusty is throwing a couple of good solid knees. He's had three counter knees. Oh, oh, like Missed with an overhand right. I'm sure it'll probably be a Dusty. And he oh, is he is definitely swinging for the fence. Sergio has definitely got a fight plan. Good, dirty boxing, good short Those uppercut. His knees are working too. He's get, this guy's ready to fall. This guy's ready to fall. Yep. Yep. And he's down. The fight is over by knockout. There is no joke. Sergio knows how to fight. That was some of the best uh, strikes I've seen all night. So Sergio definitely has been in the ring before. These strikes were sharp, consistent, and he had a game plan going in. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute of round number one, referee in charge, Larry Landless, stops the contest due to a knockout. Our winner in the red corner, he is still undefeated. All five wins, excuse me, the blue corner. All five wins coming by way of knockout, Sergio Sosa. <laughs> All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the iron ring, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the Bantamweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Clark's Nutrition. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout from Bassett, California, Ray Corona. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. She is wearing red and black trunks. She is training out of Ruckus MMA in San Fernando by way of Silmar, California. She weighed in 129 pounds, her record one win with one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Elizabeth Rodriguez. Her opponent across the iron ring, fighting out of the blue corner. She is wearing gray trunks. She is training out of Millennia MMA in Rancho Cucamonga by way of Nuevo. She weighed in 129.6 pounds. Tonight, she is making her debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Kelly Van Hoy. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the Bantam weight division. Yeah, this is Dan and Jim with KCA Radio. Kicking it old school. school. And we've got a couple young females in here, and they are just going at it. Uh, I, you know I can't wait to see the females. Right. So now Kelly's over there. Oh, oh my gosh, she just took her down with a court. Uh, Kelly just this took her, her down with a leg this sweep. This is her first fight. This is her debut fight. She Inside leg sweep, took her down. She's mounted on top. She's in a half half mount. She's got, looks like Elizabeth's got her in a half guard. Trying to hold her den down. She's trying to control her, but uh, Kelly's posturing up, which is a good thing. 
Oh, she just went down into the, she's got her in a half guard. Trying to hold her down. Good, she's bringing her to the center of the ring. There she goes. Okay, Kelly, Kelly is, uh, just went, she just passed her guard and is in the uh, side mount now. And she is going for strikes. She is trying to control the arm. She's doing arm control, just control it. She's got her in the crucifix. Overhand strikes. Oh yeah. Oh, she just she lost the crucifix, but she's in the side mount, just hammering her, going to the body. This is a really good fight, folks. That the uh, level of competition here in this amateur MMA fight is just outstanding. Now, um, Elizabeth is out of Silmar at the Ruckus MMA. Oh, she just postured up and she is throwing bombs down. She is, knows what she's doing in the side mount. Looks like she... There's 36 seconds left. Elizabeth just got back into the, uh, into a uh, half guard. And she's holding on for dear life. She's just controlling her, trying to control. She is definitely in trouble. She just got mounted. And she is throwing a serious oh. bomb. So this has got 19 seconds left. Yep. This is going to get stopped unless she does something. Yep. She is overhand we'll right. She can't. She's just she's mounted full of the way up. And it was stopped due to strikes. This was a good, solid fight. And Kelly just overwhelmed Elizabeth and took her solid to the ground and dominated for the whole fight. In charge, Ray Corona stops the contest due to strikes. Our winner by TKO, Kelly Van Hoy. All right, fight fans, here we go. Archangel Worldwide MMA in association with Rent a Wheel, is proud to present three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Totally Divas Spa Parties. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Ray Corona. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black trunks trimmed in silver. He is training out of a Gracie Jiu Jitsu in Hemet. He weighed in 145 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Alberto Romo. His opponent across the iron ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black and white trunks. He is training out of Millennia MMA in Rancho by way of San Bernardino, California. He weighed in 148 pounds. His record, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Corvan, the special Allen. Once again, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Okay, these fighters look really, really good. Uh, both Millennia and uh, Gracie's are known for their fighters. So we're getting ready to start round one of action. Oh, they, they ring around, they circle and around. Good inside leg kick, some good leg strikes. And we got uh, Roberto, he's, he's in the center ring, took the center ring. But I tell you what, uh, they're trying to go to the ground. He's got really good stand up defense and, and takedown defense. Roberto, yeah, Roberto is throwing some bombs here. He's got some good legs, too. He's throwing several good yes. kicks. Oh, he just went down. He slipped and fell. He got right back up. Colvin, the special Allen here, is uh, getting pressed against the fence, and he is delivering some decent punches and knees. But, uh... Yeah, there goes those knees. But Roberto is countering pretty well. Oh, good right hand by Roberto. Good right hand by Roberto. Roberto circling to the right. Inside leg kick, he misses. He's, oh, he just went for a takedown and got countered. It was a good hip toss by uh, the special Allen here. 
No, he's got it. He's, Roberto's got him in a guard. He's looking to pass. He's passing. Nope, he got him back in the guard. He's in the side guard now. He's looking for an arm bar. He's missing the arm bar. He's now looking for a triangle. They're up. Now, I tell you what, uh, Kovan knew he was in trouble because he was going for submissions right there. He's smart by getting up. So he. Good, good bout. Good bout. They, nice, even match. It looks like uh, Kovan is definitely taking this first round. Yeah, it was a really, really good match. Really that good first round. The, uh, when it went to the ground, I tell you, you could definitely tell Alberto had uh, definitely some uh, talent on the ground. So I can't went, wait till the next round. Yeah, the, when he went to the ground, he went to the mount. I tell you, he, he, he wasted no time going for a submission. He went for an arm bar, couldn't get the arm bar, went for a triangle. And uh, uh, Coben just stood up. He said, I don't want no part of this ground game. He <laughs> stood up and started throwing heavy strikes. And the ring girls are back in the set of the ring. And this is round two. She looks like she's a happy ring girl, that's for sure. <laughs> That should have been you boot, this time. Boot, boots must be the theme there. Yeah, I like the boots. <laughs> Vanessa likes the boots also. Getting ready oh, to start ready. Look round at action. Him. Yeah, he's ready. Tobin's bringing it to him this round. I can almost guarantee that he's going to bring it to him. Yeah, it's it all. It looks it's like uh, Alberto is. Look at uh, that. Yeah, he's focused. Alberto is uh, a little uneasy on his feet. So I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to take it to the ground real quick. He's a little tentative, Alberto's a little tentative. Throws the inside, inside leg kick, misses. Round kick, he's trying to close the gap. He's got to learn to do that just a little bit better. Coven just, Coven just answered with a knee. If Roberto used a little more body control, he'd be a lot better. He's getting thrown around, he's getting definitely out muscled here. And he's throwing well, this is Alberto's on. debut fight, so yeah. he's got a lot going on here. Yeah, he's probably just, uh, the adrenaline's just pumping like crazy right now. I mean, you know, Coleman he, hit him with a good left and a good right to the body and to the head. He goes in, you know, he, he was, you don't really know what to expect, you know what I mean? Yeah. You do and you don't. He's tried to out-muscle him, which was a mistake. He just got taken, he's got his back taken, he's on the ground. Yeah, that's, uh, now, uh, that's now a he's in the uh, situation there. Yeah, definitely. Roberto is on the ground. It looks like Coban's got him in a good triangle. A good triangle. He's got him in a shoulder lock right now. He's trying to put him to sleep. And if he turns his head and tightens up a little bit, he's gonna he's gonna tap him Let's out. See if he's, oh, he's, Roberto's right. defending good. He's yep. defending really well. He's putting a lot of pressure on his on his arm, avoiding the uh, the triangle. He won't let him tap him out. This is good. He's just pushed himself out. Now he's, he opened up his airway. Really good. Really good defense. You can definitely tell he's got ground game. These guys are in great shape. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Up to the, got on up. their feet. Kovan just let him up. It's he gonna said, go to okay, the, I'm gonna go, go back to the next to round. Oh. No, it's not going to the next round. It's a overhand right by Kovan and dropped him. Oh, wow. With nine seconds left That's in the second round. Soon. Overhand right dropped him like uh one of the better, better strikes of the night. He's a happy camper over here. For years. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 48 seconds of round number two, referee in charge, Ray Corona stops the contest in favor of our winner. By way of knockout, he is in the blue corner, Corvan, the special Ladies and gentlemen, now in the ring, what you've all been waiting for. Here we go. It's time for the main event of this evening, presented to you by Art Angel Worldwide in association with Rent a Wheel, now in the Iron Ring. Three three minute rounds of mixed martial arts for the vacant. Archangel Worldwide Welterweight Title Belt. Introducing our referee, 
Larry Landless. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks. He is training out of Gracie Jiu Jitsu in Hemet, California. He weighed in 171 pounds. His record, two wins with two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ernie Hanstown Nikachaya! <laughs> His opponent across the iron ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing gray trunks, trimmed in black. He is training out of Tap Out LA and 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. He weighed in 170.8 pounds. Tonight, he brings to the iron ring an undefeated record. Three wins, no losses, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Daniel Real Steel Rodriguez. All right, fans, here we go. Three, three minute rounds of mixed martial arts for the vacant Archangel Worldwide Welterweight title belt. We got Larry in the ring. These guys definitely look like they're ready to fight. Larry's ready, getting ready to. And we're starting. Center of the ring. Looks like big guys here. They yeah, both look like six footers. 170 pounds. Very good shape. Good, good hands by uh, Daniel. And he gets, he definitely has good hands. He defended a takedown, couple knees. And Ernie, Ernie is definitely trying to take him to the ground. There's no joke there. He wants to take this fight to the ground. Oh, good. I tell you, say that too soon. Ernie, right-left combination forced him into the ring, into the cage. Stunned him a little there. Daniel's got him up against the cage, throwing knees in the legs. Ernie's trying to muscle him out. This is a mistake to do, trying to muscle him. And they're fighting for position right now. They're off the ring. He's already gassed. Yeah. Ernie's already got his mouth wide open. He's gassed. Good front kick by Danny and right, left. Inside leg kick. Boy, the combinations are coming strong from Danny Rod Rodriguez. Good head movement. Inside Danny's leg kick. Danny's got two of his three uh, wins from knockout. Okay. You can definitely tell. He's swinging wild. Good right-left combination. Okay, so uh, Ernie just tried to take him to the ground. Yep, good good ground there. defense by Danny. He's got him standing up now. Got a couple underhooks in. Yeah, Daniel's not gonna have that. <laughs> yeah, Ernie's uh, trying to outmuscle him, and uh, it's not really working for him. Right? Kind of stalemate, push against the fence. Danny's just resting. Ernie's uh, expending all his energy here. Good, solid knee by Danny. Now that's how you use your power. Danny turned him into the ring. Good knee strike to the body. Uh, Danny Rodriguez is definitely controlling this fight. He's getting ready to take him down. All right, that, that was a good takedown. Ernie's been there before, he, he stands up. Danny's got him in a, in a guillotine, throws a knee to the body. He's got an arm in guillotine going. And Ernie escapes from the guillotine. Good right by Ernie. Oh, and he's down. Fighter is down, Danny just knocked him out. And that was part of by a right hand by uh, Danny Rodriguez. You put, yeah, I caught him on the way in. That was a really good technique. Very solid punch. That was impressive. And then Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez now 4-0. He's from Tap Out LA, 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Really, really good, strong fight. He dominated this fight from the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen. I was just told the winner is also getting a set of rims from Rent-A-Wheel. 
our official sponsors this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two, referee in charge, Larry Landless, stops the contest in favor of our winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. He's also the new Archangel Worldwide Welterweight Champion, Daniel Rilstein.